Hey, this is Tony, and in this video, we're going to do a quick tour of the rainwater harvesting system with a solar powered pump and drip irrigation for the garden. The start of any system is clean water, so we begin by making sure that we have filters over all of the gutters. Water comes down, there's a leaf catcher to exclude leaves again, and then the water goes to the top of the first barrel where there's a screen for a final filter of leaves and buds. Once the water enters the barrel, there is a manifold system at the bottom which connects all the barrels so that they fill up at the same rate. There are shutoff valves in between each barrel in case I need to isolate one for maintenance. Each barrel has an air vent on top to allow air to escape. And going back to that manifold system, you can see on the last barrel here that as the first barrel is filling up, it's filling up all the barrels at the same rate from the bottom. On the back of the system is where we have the overflow exit. When the barrels get full, this allows excess water to drain out of the system. Although after some testing, I have decided that I will be upgrading this from the current inch and a half to four inches to allow adequate water to exit as fast as it is coming in. I put a sight tube in the system so that I can easily check the level of water in the barrels. It's covered with this foam to prevent algae from growing on the sight tube and a little cap to prevent bugs from getting in. Just lift the foam up and you can tell what level the water is in all of the barrels. This system has a battery operated pump and the battery is recharged via solar power. The solar panel is an inexpensive one which I rigged up on an old unused satellite dish mount. And I'll have a video on how to do that for yourself if you'd like to learn how to do that. The wiring comes down from the solar panel to a box underneath the system. And inside of that box, we've got a battery operated on-demand pump a 12 volt battery, and a solar controller. I'll have a video showing how to make one of these pump control boxes if you're interested in doing that for yourself. The timer is set up right outside the box, and when it turns on, the pump turns on and waters the garden. I'll go ahead and engage it manually right now. Then once that pump kicks on, the water will go through the black irrigation tubing underground over to the raised beds and then back up. It'll go down the drip lines of this bed, back underground again to the second bed, and then through the drip lines of the second bed. Low rate of the water coming out the drip lines. It's getting plenty of water all the way down. Now originally I did try and build this system without a pump, but there's just not enough pressure to go through the timing mechanism, so I had to do an upgrade to the system and add the pump in. Now we have plenty of water flow. And I made one of the lines extend over the second bed into some little pots I have with some herbs growing in them. Before we end this video, I just wanted to highlight the worm composting bin I have in the back next to the gardens.
Red wiggler worms are very easy to take care of. You just throw your kitchen scraps and leaves from your lawn in there and they will create compost that you can use in your garden. I'll throw a quick link up above on how to set up your own small bin to get started on composting worms if you're interested. Well, I hope you found this quick little overview helpful. Maybe it gave you some ideas or inspired you to build one of these for yourself. If you would like to see how this system was put together or maybe build one for yourself, click on the link above for a step-by-step how-to video. If you have any questions, hopefully they will be covered in the next video, the how-to video, but please feel free to drop questions and comments below. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates.